For peri care, I would gather my supplies, so wash my hands, go to the linen closet and get four washcloths and a towel. And I would come to the resident room and knock on the door, wash my hands and, hi Annie, I'm Myra, I'm gonna be your CNA today. I'm just gonna get you washed up. Usually if you say peri care to a resident, they don't really understand what that is. So you just say, I'm gonna get you cleaned up. So I've sanitized my hands. I'm gonna pull the curtain for privacy. I will get their basin and put warm water in the basin. And just like any other skincare, I'll have her check the temperature either with her hand in the basin or by wetting the washcloth and putting it on the back of her hand. Let's scoot this out a little bit. I'm going to raise your bed up. Gloves on. I can put all four washcloths in the basin. And then I'm just going to expose the area that I'm washing. So I'll just bring the sheet down. I'll keep her gown and the rest of her body. And then I'm gonna place a towel underneath. So you, if the resident is able to lift their hips up, that's the easiest way. Otherwise you can hold underneath their knees and get the towel there. And just make sure it's all the way underneath them. Okay, the important thing with peri care is to not get the E. coli from the rectum into the urethra. As you know, that can cause urinary tract infections. So we want to make sure that we're using a different part of the washcloth as we clean this area. So I take my first washcloth and put soap all over the washcloth. And so I can remember what part of the washcloth I used. I'm going to fold this into four. And I'm gonna put my thumb right on the corner of the washcloth so that I can flip up those edges and use a different part of the washcloth for each pass from top to bottom. So I'm gonna, there'll be a little pressure. I'm gonna start washing you, Annie. So I'm gonna start with the labia on the left side and go from top to bottom. So I'm, again, not bringing that E. coli up to the top, to the urethra. I'm gonna to flip to the next part of my cloth Get the groin fold and the labia on that side. I'm going to flip again and then I'm going to open a little bit. Get the left side and the right side. And then lastly, I'm going to get the urethra clean going from top to bottom and again being gentle. Then I'm going to put that into the linen bag because I don't want to reuse that washcloth. I'm going to rinse the same way, so I have my washcloth folded in four. I'm going to go from the groin fold and the labia top down, flip to the next part, the other side, make sure I open, still going top to bottom, and then lastly down the middle and then put that in the linen bag so it doesn't get used again. And I can just use this towel here, gently pat dry. Again, making sure the groin folds are very dry so we don't have any moisture there. Their abdominal folds above the area, make sure that gets dry as well. And cover her back up. And then I'm gonna have her roll on her side so I'll Raise the side rail on this side of the bed. And that can be done before I start care as well. Okay, Annie, I'm gonna have you scoot over towards me on three, one, two, three. And then I'm gonna roll you onto your left side and have you reach for the side rail if you can. Okay, 
one, two, three. You okay? So I still have the towel covering the bed. I'm gonna turn the mannequin over so it stays a little better. Okay, and again, just exposing the area that we're going to clean. Take a new washcloth. Add soap to that entire washcloth. I'm gonna do my four corners again, and again, hold with my thumb where the corner is, and so I can flip up that way. So I went down in the front, but now I wanna make sure I don't get any E. coli from the rectum towards the front again. So I'm gonna continue that down in the front and then up in the back and working from clean to dirty. So I'm gonna do the outside of the buttocks first, flip my cloth over. So we're always going in the motion from urethra towards the rectum. And then I'll go in the middle and then get the rectum. And this may take several passes. If um, they have had a bowel movement, you can also use disposable wipes at this point. It's a little bit easier um, than using several washcloths and those will just go into the, um, the wastebasket right away. Um, and if they're large, you can do the same thing and fold it and use different areas of the disposable wipe as well. So I'm gonna rinse the same way. I'll keep my thumb on that corner. Still going urethra to rectum. And on the outside, so we're working from cleanest to dirtiest. So we know the dirtiest part is the rectum. So we're gonna do that last. Flipping my cloth each time, going from front to back, getting all the soap out. Again, you should be noticing if there's any reddened areas, the coccyx is probably the primary place where skin breakdown happens. So you wanna definitely check that and make sure there's no reddened areas or if there's the beginning of a pressure ulcer. And again, we're gonna pat dry. And lots of skin folds and creases to make, so make sure that we get all those well dried so there are no moisture issues either. I'm gonna take that towel out and put it in the linen bag. So since my hands are dirty, I've just performed peri care. If the resident is okay on their side for just a moment, it would be good to take your gloves off. Otherwise, you can just have them roll onto their back and get your gloves off and sanitize because you don't want to take your E. coli gloves and touch around all of the bed and the resident. Okay. All right, Annie, I'm going to have you roll back using the lift sheet. the lift sheet to get you back in the middle. I feel comfortable. Okay, lower your bed. Make sure it's locked. Give you the toe pleat. The linen's off of there. We're going to lower the side rail. Give you your call light and I'm going to open your curtain. And then to take care of my supplies, because I use this basin for peri care, I want to make sure that I put gloves on again. And when I take that to the sink, then dump it, wash it, rinse it and dry it just as I would with any other skin care. But again, make sure that you have gloves on when you do that. I open the other curtain, wash my hands again, and then report any skin conditions to the nurse.